Hey everybody, welcome back to X-Plane 11, and this is John Wayne, my favorite place on earth. I, I love this airport so much. So I started working very, very close to John Wayne, a uh, new job, just this past week. And today was the first time I was able to go have lunch at ACI, which is over here. It's actually depicted on the scenery. Uh, this is ACI East. And that little rail right there is a public balcony. Um, and that's where I had lunch today, watching all the craziness. It's not the best airport viewing because you're you're right at, um, like the touchdown point is, you know, kind of in in this area. Uh, all the GA guys are, are up in the air probably by here-ish. So by the time you get any planes next to you, that's there's not anything that's really that close, but it's still cool to be just right, um, right on the ramp, watching all the the cool jets fly around. Um, and yes, Maria, you have you have been there. Uh, so I wanted to. It was just like it was such a fun time hanging out at John Wayne, and um, before I do a stream or a video, I always like I, I want to be really excited about um, yeah, and it is it is cool to have a nice place to plane spot for sure. Uh, I saw a Technum flying, which was kind of cool. The single engine P2010, I think it is the one. Uh, but the uh, yeah, the way that I figure out what I want to do for a stream or a video is I, I just kind of think about well, one, if there's a a flight that I'm doing in the real world, I'm doing that. And I'm excited to do that because I like the uh, preparation and knowing that I'm going to be super prepared for the flight. If I don't have a flight and I'm trying to think of something to do, uh, flight sim economy is pretty good. Um, but usually I just go through like what planes I have, what airports I like to fly at, and just see what gets me excited. And what got me excited today was learning a little bit how to land the F-33A Bonanza that I've flown around the last couple streams uh, going cross country. And I hadn't really learned how to fly this thing before taking it on a you know cross country flight. So I thought that that would be super fun to just tear up John Wayne. I could stay at John Wayne, which I love, have some fun with the pattern a little bit. Um, but most importantly, get more familiar with this plane, which I really do want to uh, fly a little bit more because I, I do like it a lot. Um, Salt Lake City doesn't have any great places to spot. Uh, yeah, it's a bummer when, when these these Bravos are, I mean, rightly so, pretty, pretty hidden and locked down. But it's nice to have a busy uh, airport with a mix of commercial and uh, general aviation stuff. Like John Wayne's, like a, a busy Charlie, I think is um, kind of my favorite spot to hang out. Um, not super into the watching the airliners land. I mean, it's cool for a little bit, but they're kind of all the same, uh, especially at John Wayne when it's either a 737 or, you know, an A320, A321. So that's what I'm going to do is we're going to fly the pattern uh, and learn how to fly this plane a little bit. So we're going to do some uh, some regular patterns. We're going to do some... Uh, short field, soft field, short approaches, uh, low approaches, just kind of get a feel for how the plane lands and try to get the lowest possible score on the landing rate plug-in, which I've always maintained uh, is useless, but uh, it's still fun to try to get the high score, um, which is always, always cool. Uh, Toast the Donut, nice dude, that is... <laughs> Fantastic shots, too, of that F-18 with the sunset behind. That's super cool. Well done, man. Friggin' well done. All right, so let's uh, let's get this thing started. I've learned a little bit how to get this plane started, which is, uh, you know, always a good, um, a good place to start, I guess, in an airplane is how to get it started. View is looking a little bit weird there, but I think we're okay. All right, so let's get the batteries and everything on. Let's get the make sure the parking brake is set. Uh, let's get the beacon coming on here, and then 
We're gonna go mixture full rich. We're gonna go throttle, I think like halfway, but we'll go like a little bit more halfway. Um, hey, what's up, Joe? Happy Monday. And then we're gonna hit on the fuel pump. Mm, two, three, four. Four is probably plenty, I guess. Uh, and then the mixture is gonna stay in for the startup. Let's get the prop in there as well. And let's see if we've figured out how to do this. Oh, you know what I should do is one, put that on uh, and check, check this. Let's go. We'll refill the oil. I think we should be okay. Oh wait, nope, we've got struts. <laughs> we've got damaged struts. So I have a feeling we're gonna break some gear today, but hopefully not. Or maybe, I don't know, it might be kind of fun. Um, Adoned, happy Monday. I don't think it leaks that much, Ryan, and I don't even know if that's modeled in these. Okay, sweet. Um, all right, so that is good. Let's get our avionics coming on. Oh, sweet. My panel works. 26-0. Zulu. Wind one nine zero at eight. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature two two. right. Visual approaches in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignment. Hold short Ron instruction. Assignments. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Mike. All right, so we've got Mike. Let's move up here so we can get an eye <laughs> shot <laughs> of <laughs> the tower. Yeah, don't. I hope you. I hope you feel better, man. That is, it is not fun having a, a head cold um, in any circumstance, but especially when it's preventing you from flying. Then it's really lame. Uh, Ryan. No, I did not. I did not. Jawline clearance Bonanza 204 Lima Echo with information Mike. We're staying in the pattern. Tricky Niner 139 Juliet, official approach. Squawk 5065. Squawk 5065. Number 204 Lima Echo. Clearance. Yeah, John Clearance, uh, Bonanza 204 Lima Echo. We'd like to uh, stay left closed traffic. Good point of the Echo. What's your model, Bonanza? 33, 35, or 36? We're at Bravo Echo 33 Slain Golf, 204 Lima Echo. 204 Lima Echo, Squawk 5543. 5543 for Lima Echo. Online Tower, Bonanza 211 Alpha Charlie, holding short runway. They do, they do like that. Bonanza 211 Alpha Charlie, Spot John Wayne Tower, Bonanza 211 Alpha Charlie. John Wayne wouldn't normally have to be able to Clear for takeoff, Bonanza 211 Alpha Charlie. For 204, Echo, read back correct. Contact ground whenever taxi. Okay, ground for taxi, 4 Lima Echo, thanks. Cherokee 9 or 139 or 2 Lima Echo, contact. So we're going over to ground, which is 20, 20, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Type and request. So 
letting him take care of whatever situation he's dealing with there. That's energy light, Roger. What is your request for altitude on route to Portersville? Juliet, Roger. The Port Azure Airport, 12 o'clock and 2 5 miles. Advise you on the weather report, the airport in sight. Hey, there's a little little Piper Cub <laughs> hauling ass. Johnny Ground Bonanza 204 Lima Echo at ACI West, taxi to Tower Runner. All right, uh, tower run up via Bravo, we'll let you know when it's done, before Lima Echo. Have a radio check, please. Dude, that's a, uh, yeah, clear. no, Ryan, that's a Cub with, um, it was a carbon okay, Cub. Two one off of Charlie, kind of departure. Uh, it's a, a Contact departure, one off J3 Charlie. Cub, and a little known fact, the J stands for Jado. And, uh, that was a fighting three zero zero vector short approach. Thank you, Mike. one time to go see our contacts. Okay, well, minimum three four um, one two. New work schedule, man, is favorable for slightly early uh, or earlier. Thank you, one up. Charlie, we've got a partial air contact, flying, which is awesome. Possibly Chinese. What's up, dude? Mark six eight five zero two contact LA Center. 134.65. Nice. nice. I'm actually doing the same. <laughs> doing the same. Five zero two. That's gonna be one three four point six five thirty four sixty five. We are uh, turning into the wind here. Because we have six cylinders. Uh, Neuromancer. Yeah, I, I love them too. I love them too. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Uh, the new setup. Mike, uh, no problem. So good. Turn left, so good. heading 130. Um, Vectors awesome. to the airport. <laughs> okay. Possibly Chinese. Well, I'll tell you what's cracking. I passed the uh, written, the written test. Um, Over 211 Alpha Charlie, flatting 090, zero, 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 right, intercept Vector 23, is of navigation. Stuck. View, uh, or two one one off Charlie fighting yeah, zero nine or zero intercept Victor three three is on navigation. Uh, yeah, I passed the written on uh, on Sunday yesterday. And it was weird. Advise you have Sierra Land Air Runway one two. It was weird. I have uh, I don't want to say like mixed feelings about it, but I was kind of um kind of mixed feelings about it. Like it's super super nice to have it done and out of the way. But at the same time, as we check the mags here, um, it was so easy that uh, it was kind of like anticlimactic. It was just like, okay, now now that's done. Uh, I think you answered this a long time ago, but what's your new job all about? Uh, Bamser, I am um, working towards being a financial advisor um, while also doing marketing for this uh, team, this financial advising firm. Um, and I am planning on specializing in uh, financial advising for uh, no, aviation. No, it wasn't. It's just it's, it's so, my humorous way of saying you um, need to say I'm pretty excited about that. Um, you know, pilots, but it worked ATC, out pretty well, didn't it? private pilots, just kind of being a little, carving out, trying to carve out a little local niche. Uh, we're right down the street I, from I'm the hilarious, airport. Man. And I hope to be able to use um, my license and, and a, a future aircraft to uh, go meet clients. My G650, great investment. Yeah, the sounds of the props is so bad. Yeah, I may or may not have seen that. Oh, it's really bad. Understand what's up, thank you. See you right here, right car heading zero, question path 360. Doesn't do that. Our Cherokee 303, Christian, 
Niner 13 Energy Leader, the uh, nearest weather is going to be Delano like Airport, 19 miles southwest at uh, 0155, zoo automated weather observation, wind 3505, visibility 10, uh, temperature 29, 2.9, or altimeter 2988. Giant Ground Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, continue. I hear it. Two zero four the back, my two zero right, taxi right, Bravo Kilo. Bravo Kilo, two zero right, two zero four the back. For two one one off of Charlie via front traffic, one o'clock, four miles eastbound, five thousand two hundred indicated, type unknown off to do verify. I should go play around in Phoenix, like I could go. I could put some golf clubs in the back and literally go play around in Phoenix. Yeah, I <laughs> did. Um, looks pretty crazy. We're, I think that system is moving out towards us later in the week. We're supposed to get some, some rain, and I am assuming that it's coming from you guys. I haven't looked at anything offshore, so I don't, I don't know if there's going to be something coming off from the ocean, but here's the moving east. <laughs> Not always. When those Santa Anas come through, we get friggin' hammered. Command center one seven eight zero weapon airport two o'clock eight miles. Command one ten seven ten zero clear visual approach runway one two and our right base. We get nineteen nine on here just in case he wants us to go over the nineteen nine. Jawing Tower Bonanza two zero four Lee Medical holding short runway two zero right at Kilo and request that left close traffic on the left side. Runway two zero four Lima at go. Jawing Tower, runway two zero right. Clear to take crunch two zero right. Kilo clear to take off after departure. Uh, make left traffic. Runway two zero left. Report midfield each time. Wind one nine zero eight. Okay, two zero right at Kilo clear for takeoff. We'll make left close traffic and call you midfield two zero four. Okay, uh, let's go. Uh, lights. Camera. Number one, Commander Julia. Okay. Let's learn how this plane flies. Change VFR. Change to advisory approved. Have a nice night. See you on the way out. Sweet. So we're gonna get a couple of normal ones in here, and then see how those go first, and then we'll start adding in some variation. But I definitely want to see if I can get some really low scores. Okay, so everything is in the green. Airspeed's alive. Same. Okay, gear's coming up. Fireman Tower, Twin Commission 717, take us here at visual 1 2. There's Ty. Twin Commission 717, take us here at runway 1 2, clear to land, wind calm, ultimate 2, 9 9 4. Clear to land, runway 1 2, this is awkward, 717, take us here. Okay, there's, there's 600, so we can make our, that's plenty of space. I mean, we're coming off from the uh, the right side, it makes you fly this pattern a little bit different. For the echo, on, on downwind, change my frequency, roll with 9.9er. Okay, 199 for the echo. Little bit high there. Okay, so it's definitely pretty sensitive on the trim. I gotta figure out, I gotta feel that out. Jumping Tower, four Lima Echo, midfield, left down, with two zero left. Four Lima Echo, my two zero left, clear the option. Clear the option, two zero left, four Lima Echo. Or one four three, Victor Bravo, Pierce. Okay, so you're coming down, we're gonna make this like super nice. Laps coming. Props for one zero five, forward. one on the airport, two o'clock, eight miles, port and flight. Uh, the trim is fast. All right. 
there's not a, I mean it's it's hidden um, it's really tiny so like the the 172 is pretty easy to, to spot three, where the trim is at this is a little harder to see like where, where I'm at and you don't have the feedback of the yoke pressure which doesn't help um, so we want to keep it at set. We don't. We don't want to be any slower than 75. But a three vector Bravo. Or 70. Roger. I guess you can expect no slower uh, than 75, but ideal. No slower than 70. Five. Actually, um, look, where are you parking today? But ideally 75. Okay, there's our full flaps, trim. For three vector Bravo, Roger. Expect there are two more. Five. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty comfortable for the airspeed right there. We're on glide slope. Everything's good. Center line looks okay. Right, one zero five one. Mike, clear visual approach. Twenty two seven. I think this is going to be too slow. One zero five one. Mike, cut out tower. One one nine zero point eight seven. Yep. And the, but it's a two one off of Charlie. Cut out. Enough code, for the code, ELT to go six. off. All right, so need to go faster. Where's the ELT? Negative point six. One nine point six. So what you're saying is that was a little bit hard? Mm. See, this is why I wanted to do this, because I am i have no idea how to fly this plane. <laughs> I hit too hard, that's how I did that. Uh, that used to happen in the Just Flight Arrow every once in a while, when it would be out of trim and I would crash it, essentially. So we're going to have some strut damage. Oh, I had to turn it off. I just, hit the, ocean side at five I just hit, the, uh, hit the switch. Hit the switch. We're good. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Um, the, 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 the switch is right down there. I just hit that. Live long and prosper. Thanks, Johnny Tower, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, midfield left down, wind 20 left. Left 204, Lima Echo, and wait, 20 left for your flash. Third option, 20 left for Lima Echo. Uh, Puck, dude. Happy Monday, Puck. Thank you very much for the host. And I was just about to say, this is your little dude. Um, so I did some, like, cross country flights in this, and. Um, it's, I just have to get used to it, so I thought for tonight, some pattern work would be a good idea. And it's super nice to, to have a plane with some. Let's see ground, Cherokee 2236 call, TFA North, runway 27 right with information whiskey. How close is this panel to yours, Puck? See, that's so much better. That's nose down too and decelerating with the props up. That's way better. Let's be ground, Cherokee 2236 Golf. There we go. North, okay. Runway 27 right See? with information whiskey. But it only took one ELT uh, <laughs> being set off to figure out how to land it. Puck, dude, it's the love of my life, too, man. I love these bonanzas so much. Um, my God. Uh, Cherokee 2236 Golf, let's be ground. And. Uh, Julia runway loves them too. We, she's just Delta on a total bonanza tear right now. So that is a very good but expensive problem to have. Good lord. Two seven. The instruments are 100%. Oh, the engine instruments are 100%. I have two Aspens. Uh, okay, got it. Yeah, well, only Chuck Norris is allowed to take off and white reset. So everything in the middle basically is identical. Was that the million dollar plane? Yeah. Yep. Ryan A on that Instagram story. That's that's really funny. Yeah. I mean an A thirty six for sure is crazy expensive. Joey Tower Bonanza two zero four Lee Mecco midfield left down wind two zero left. Alright, so let's two zero four Lee Mecco, two zero left, clear of south. Third option, two zero left for the Mecco. Short approach, power off, gear coming down. Prop full forward. Three green. Give one notch of flaps here. This is the Brad approach right here. This is 
This is the approach that I randomly watched him do uh, when I was walking back to the car from lunch. That red, that right by the wingtip, that red roof is where I was walking when he did this approach. I can't see anything. Say again, Oh man, I freaking love drag. How cool is that? I show ground. The only reason I asked you to say it again is because I wanted to know what your call sign was, but I figured that out when you said say again. Uh, what's your request? There's a little bit uh, more firm-ish. Okay, right over ACI. One million and a half. Squawk 3262. Um, Admiral, how's it going? Uh, 3262. Drew, how's it going? 3262. Seven, seven, you, seven, yes, five. I love the Drew. <laughs> well, coming from a 172, it's nice to have the plane slow down when you've got it pitched. And I have Foxtrot. That, that was, was, Juliet, because that was what I meant. Uh, that's request. Not the other kind of drag. Parasitic drag. Remember, it's energy layout, same position. Um, thanks, uh, W North. It is 17 around here. This Air is my time. home airport, so I got it pretty high. It's energy squawk 6767. Seven. Giant Tower, four Lima Echo, midfield, two zero left. Four Lima Echo, at two zero left, drift down. Clear option, four Lima Echo. So we're going to make this one. Left tower, Cessna 2236 South, holding shorter runway 27 left for an eastbound departure. We're going to make this one a low approach. Number 2236 South, left tower, way 27 left. Clear for right takeoff after departure, the proceed on course. 27 left, clear for takeoff, proceed on course after departure, 2236 South. Doing this at John Wayne in an actual bonanza is the most fun thing you can ever do. Good lord. 200 miles an hour right around deck. Skyhawk 5276 Papa Three, requesting two, taxi instructions to runway 308. Roll. Five, two, seven, six, Papa, take a show of ground. Runway 30 right. Taxi good. Alpha, Bravo. And Christian. pattern altitude. Actually, you from the uh, north side of the ramp near Alpha 11. Oh my god, I love airplanes and I love Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I love my Alpha 11. Exactly. <laughs> Blue that is Delta, taxi via Alpha Delta. That, that's what that was from, actually. Taxi Not a John Alpha, Wayne, but Delta it was uh, basically that approach. Three, you did it's just miss the low pass, and you just missed me talking about how awesome it is doing that approach with you, Brad. Thank you so much for freaking 10 months, dude. Crazy. Joey Tower, 4 Lima Echo, midfield, 2 0 left. Four Lima Echo, two zero left, fifty option. Float option two zero left, four Lima Echo. Okay, now let's let's crank it in there. Now we're we're pretty high, so this will be a good a good test of that. So Brad, I'm just trying to instead of uh, going for a um, cross country flight in a plane that I'm. Relatively unfamiliar. Number one four three for Bravo. Now you um, did make straight in for my two five. Kind of center Bravo Tower. Gonna do some pattern work in this thing and feel out the speeds that it likes, which has already helped a ton. The first one may or may not have set off the ELT. Uh, the second center one Bravo was Tower, a butter. Bonanza one four three Victor Bravo. Uh, request full stop. It's so nice having the props. Bonanza one four three Victor Bravo. Center Bravo Tower. Make straight in for my two five. Clear to land. Wind one this three little, zero and three. Floaty. Straight in for runway 25, clear to land, 143 Victor Bravo. And so Victor Bravo, it'd be a uh, right turn off. Three Victor Bravo, this will be a right turn off on land. A 5G, right turn off on land, 5G impact Bravo. is impressive. Yeah, it said 300. Um, feet per six minute zero two kind of last base approach, 118.4. On the plug in, but who knows? 
Um, Puck, thank you very much again for the host. Have a great dinner. I will say gear swings a hell of a lot faster than mine. 28 volt system swings fast. Swing them. Captain Aviation, thanks, man. Yeah, it feels it feels really, really good to have that written test First, six, six, nine, zero, two, biggest uh, out of the way. Like it's altimeter, two meter, nine or five. Advise you have November. Expect the visual approach runway one nine or right. Hey, bird, Whoa, Fuck. buddy. Thank you so much for the subscription. Johnny Tower, uh, Bonanza, Four Lima Echo, downwind two zero left. Nine. Put option two zero left for me. Got to figure these views out too. This is a little bit. It's a little bit tougher. Uh, you don't have the views selected correctly. So the uh, the controller being busy will simulate having uh, traffic. Pattern, I guess. One Mike. Taxi ramp by Alpha. What's up, Duluth Fly? You have a good day. One zero five, Mike. And uh, uh, Neuromancer, thanks for joining. But yeah, it feels super good to have that written out of the way. Um, I think it's a combination of one putting it off and two just studying. Um, Hard. Bakersfield Tower, this is Skyhawk 5276 Papa, moving short, so runway 30 right, requesting right down uh, the I couldn't, I, it was kind of, when I was finished with it, I was like, man, I can't believe that was the right. test. Like that, that's what I was kind of worrying about. Three two zero seven. Um, Clear for takeoff, runway 30 right, 7 Crap. Super nice to have it finally done. So that was kind of a mess for me. Yeah, thanks, Puck. <laughs> yeah, that was a big ouch. Um, so I did... I, I took the same method that I had been studying for the last couple weeks with, which was do the test as basically as quickly as possible and just answer all the questions that I knew. Just know that, know that, know that. And I timed it. I had I answered 45 questions in 15 minutes and then went back and did the, you know, um, uh, refer to figure 49, how far away is blah, blah, blah. I did all those ones after and took took about 45 minutes to do the remaining 15 questions. Um, you know, got the E6B out, and the, the uh, weight and balance calculations, all that stuff. Um, but I, I mean, I ripped through the... Majority Captain Barber Tower, Bonanza one four three Victor Bravo is clear of runway two five at taxiway Charlie. Which was kind of fun to be like, dude, I know a lot of this crap. This is awesome. Turn right. Catch it. Yeah, this is the PPL there. Pilot, Pilot J. Yeah. Johnny Tower, Bonanza four Lima Echo midfield two zero left. Four Lima Echo runway two zero left. Clear the option. Clear option two zero left four Lima Echo. Here you go, Brad. Carther. <laughs> this is this makes me smile just thinking about doing it with Brad for real. Uh, we did this in the in the 172 a couple flights ago, and oh my god, it's so fun. Spring. Santa Barbara Tower, Bonanza 143, Victor Bravo is clear, runway 25, at taxiway Charlie. Or 3 Victor Bravo, you want to park on this side of the tra the side of the 15 or the other side of the 15? So fun. I remember taking my PPL is the worst you can use. Shipper this side will do, 143, Victor Bravo. 3 Victor Bravo, by Charlie, this should go see nice day. Yeah, I've heard Shepard Air is pretty good. 
I'm sorry, I didn't catch which uh, taxiway yeah, on 43 Victor Bravo. I was at 59. Victor Bravo straight ahead and to the left will do. Copy that, taxi straight ahead, 143 Victor Bravo. Tower, uh, okay, so we're a little high. Let's make this one short. Johnny Tower, 204 Lima Echo, midfield, 20 left. And November 2236, call from Bottom Tower. Enter a left base from my 27 report, 30 miles off. Left base for 27, reported 3 miles fine. Okay, we're making next. Report 3 miles out, 2236, call. Or 201 off of Charlie, kind of Paul Mark Tower, 18.6. Well, Paul Mark Tower, 16850 to maintain 9500. We might have to continue here. Not one for the energy layout, Michelle Airport, travel clock, one zero miles. Palomar Tower, Bonanza 211 off of Charlie, uh, level 2500. Bonanza 211 off of Charlie, Palomar Tower, runway 24, clear to land, 1200. Clear to land, Bonanza 11 off of Charlie. Bonanza 13900, Juliet, control airport. Okay, so we can, we'll go around here, we can make it a short go around and see if we can, if we can catch a short approach here. I think I can gauge where we were on the short approach, Brad. I need to be at the right now. Enter a right down, runway right down. Right down. Right three zero right. Kind of the control tower, one one eight point one. Jowing Tower, Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo, midfield left down, two zero left. Or two zero four Lima Echo, two zero left, clear the option. Clear option two zero left for Lima Echo. Okay, before the 405. Our 36 golf, I did. I did, 36 golf. This, this worked with, the, with the Cessna. I don't know if it's going to work on this thing. Nine pop with <laughs> oh, the crap. Six miles to your southeast, request a visual for only two nine. With the energy, you're still with a break. If we had to, if we had a power out, we, 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 we had the power out, we could make that happen. Uh, eight miles north for a right downwind on runway 30 right. Uh, big show approach. 390 Juliet. 390 Juliet, we're going to show power. Runway 30 right, clear to land. Went 3207. <laughs> Having to call the buys is a little bit 307, 300 Juliet. Iowa, happy Earth Monday. I didn't observe runway 27, clear to land. I is uh, two seven clear to land two two three six call. Right, I think I was just too high on that to make that one stuff. stick. So uh, let's we're gonna do such a go so pattern. I think I. Th uh, three six go, Roger. Uh, we're right yeah, two I seven. Yeah, I think I was go. higher. I'll go make left traffic for me each time. Two seven clear touch and go. Make left traffic. Report done. Uh, midfield two two three six call. Okay, let's get an early call. Four the anchor. My two zero left clear for the option. Put so option two zero left for the. Awesome. Okay, I was just a little bit too high, I think, on that one. So here's good, right? For so we got gear coming out. One three three point nine or five. I mean, there's a beam the numbers right there. So gear coming out, props full forward, first notch of flaps in, power out. It's just so it's so much more draggy than. The 172. Stanley Tower, Cessna 9 Pop Whiskey, 4 miles southeast for a visual runway 29. See, I'm still um, just way too fast. I'm like 10 knots too fast. Right, so to Vegas, all you gotta call in with is your album, dude. Uh, if I guess all temperature 2, 9 or 9 or 5, I'll have a turn. I think I was too slow on the power off there. Take the power out sooner. Yep, thanks, thanks uh, Yoshi.
think I was definitely behind on that. Should have done all. Oh, I'm just, yeah, I'm just. 7502, uh, turn left, heading 310. Straight, oh, straight to full flaps? Hmm. Okay, I can try that. Get about five minutes from here. <laughs> and uh, happy Monday, Carter. For the Mac, current two zero left the option. Cleared option two zero left for the Mac. Okay, so we're we're cleared. There's eight fifty. Bakersfield Tower, Cherokee 90139, or Juliet, right downwind for runway 30 right. Bakersfield traffic, 39 or Juliet. 39 Juliet, no need to set Bakersfield traffic. Okay, All units report missed. Thanks, runway 30 right, cleared to land. Flaps full. 30 right, cleared to land, 39 or Juliet. San Luis Tower, this is a 9 pop whiskey radio check. Loud and clear. Okay, now let's get a slip in here. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm also cutting the quarter like crazy, especially in this plane. See, that's still over six eight five zero two. Turn left, heading two four zero. Yeah, I'm cutting the quarter too much. Okay. Man, this is a good workout, though. <laughs> what did you see if I told you? Alpha. Wow. Yeah, I too. Uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, Alpha one. Alpha Charlie, thank you. Good day. Yeah, no, that's um, for sure, Yoshi. That, that was a much better... Yeah, throwing, throwing all the flaps. Four left. I go my two's left for the option. Third option, two's your left for the back. He's, he's learning. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Cessna, thank, thank you. Field tower, Skyhawk 5276. Papa, am I approved to uh, change the field departure frequency? 5376, Papa. Uh, yes, sir, kind of departure. Make your trans make sure your transponder is turned off. So I think please. with, um, Brad, with Bonanza, you try to keep it like 405, right? It should be on uh, 76, Papa, and continue the departure. Like four or five is the tightest you'd get, maybe, for a base with nobody in the back, and I, uh, I need to worry about it just outside. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's no that's normal. Okay. So there's tower, so, uh, so just outside the four or five. To the east. Just out there's just outside the four or five. visual for only two nine. Uh, yeah, I call for visual two nine. Go stand by, please. so high on that, probably because I wasn't looking. Fox 76 on the radar contact, thanks for departure, radar contact. I'll put you timber 2988. I don't know if it's, um, if it's the simulator, if it's the, the rep pack being so slippery, um, but it, it feels like, Brad, like I couldn't do that, I mean, I know you, I know you can, but it just feels like the Bonanza is able to do that. No problem. This is stupid. One, uh, 0.86G. Uh, it feels like the, the 172 wouldn't be good at that. Like, like this is, at least. For the back, I want to use your left for the option. That's normal, yeah. I don't know, that's the, that's the you broke everyone's spine, um, warning. For 68502, <laughs> turn left heading 090. For the Mac, runway 20 left, clear for the option. Cleared option 20 left for the Mac. Thanks, Joe Graham. 39 or Juliet. Thank you so much. Yeah, Have a great night. See you AM 39 or Juliet. See you tomorrow. Yeah, this this rep pack's gonna need some uh, some maintenance work. There 
is a beam. <laughs> oh yeah, so look at it balloon up. Uh, I just put in one notch of flaps and it jumped up 200 feet. Try to do a flight following. Super. Two six drop runway uh, two seven clear land. Two seven clear land. Two three six golf. Yeah, like if you look away, like if you hit the flaps and you look away, you'd have no idea that you just ballooned up 200 feet because there's no back pressure. <laughs> okay, let's try to make that discoloration here. It's like happy until it's not. I think it's the trim. I think there's something with the trim that I'm not doing right. It's like the, um... Whoa! Like the... Found it! <laughs> Hello. Found the ground. No kidding. Um... Yeah, it's like the trim, like, um... Yeah, I'm just not doing the trim right. If you hear the stall horn, something is wrong. I Was the stall horn going off? I couldn't hear it. I was asking about trim. Yeah, Brad, was it going off? Roger, to the airport's gonna be off your right side five miles. How's it clear his approach from way one on the right? It could have been. I just couldn't. I just didn't hear it because I have the sound pretty low. It's turning up a little bit more. I thought I heard a chirp on flare. It might. It may have been. Yeah. Yeah, I think the bad, um, I think the trim is just what's killing me right now. Giant Tower, four, four Lima Echo, midfield, two zero left. Four Lima Echo, two zero left, clear the option. Clear option, two zero left, four Lima Echo. So I, I kept it pushed down with the flaps. So now I'm not fighting an extra 200 feet here. I'm I'm sure you're saying something very useful right now, but I'm I can't look. You're you're way slow already. Okay. I mean 80, 80. Uh, request Yeah, see that's that's getting a little slow there too. And low. Two to six golf, There's power seventy. Say again. This is the Lesbian Tower check frequency, please. See that last little bit, it's just like Two, kind of tower, uh, Are one, you leaving the? I mean, in, in, granted, we're dealing with fake plane versus five, six, seven, six, five, real plane nine, input. Josh, approach one two four point um, five five. Fly it to the runway. So, are you going full idle? Really? Are you touching down with a little, um, a little power? Biggest tower, Pilatus, six, okay, so five, I was fifteen zero, knots uh, on approach slow. runway one nine right. Power is in the power way. One six right. Clear to land. One minor right. Five zero two. Thank you. Roger that. Okay. Well, the 
clear option two zero left for them. That way. Okay. Yeah, I'm flying it like a one seventy two. Absolutely. Or at least what I would think a Bonanza version of a one seventy two would be. Okay, so that helps um, a lot. Obviously. Touchdown is at twelve inches in this plane. You shouldn't be any slower than seventy five. Okay, no slower than 75. All right. And as long as you are above that, you can be fine doing whatever, as long as you get to that point. Josh approach the uh, hobby altimeter in center nine five. I just had the weather report the airport. So. How how close is the is this plane with that twelve inches? Ground, uh, Cessna 2236 just got off the tree cluster flight following. Okay, there's, I mean, that's showing 10 two right two there. Two off on the ground, right? And 75. Just like the tree cluster flight following up to uh, French Valley. Flight 36 Golf, which type aircraft and destination and uh, requested altitude. Okay, I'm not. Not worried about, um... Say again, I'm sorry. What's your aircraft type? Center line on that. But, okay, so that was a, that that was a little bit better. and 6,500. Oh, was that 14? Oh, yeah. Okay. Scott, you did 36, call Thank departure you. frequency, 119.6. Squawk 4315. You're still holding it off the runway, fly it to the ground. Okay. Departure frequency 119.6, and can you say the squawk again? I'm sorry. Number 36 off, squawk 4315. Squawk 4315 to 36 golf. Six tower, plot of 6502, clear of runway 19 right at Sierra. Would like to taxi to uh, signature. November 68502, taxi to parking by Sierra, remain this frequency, and uh, I'll get the pass on the I-5, and uh, we've already had discussion about it, but just, just I'm not sure what the other guy told you, I have no idea, but, and I'm not sure if he gets killed or for some other reason, but make sure it says climbing right turn, so you take off and you start the climbing right turn immediately, like as soon as you're at a safe altitude, we're not going to hit any buildings or anything like that, that makes sense? That makes perfect sense. As a matter of fact, sir, if it's okay with you, I would, I'll taxi to parking, but I would actually like to fly that departure just for my own peace of mind, my own sake of understanding. Yeah, you can do that, and if you do it in the next hour, I'll watch and give you tips on it if you do anything about it. Uh, it'll take me 10 minutes to get to parking. I'll do it in the next 20, 502. Sounds good. Giant Tower Bonanza 204 Lamech, final 20 left. For the Mecca with 20 left option. Option 20 left for the Mecca. Unreadable. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm not. This is not matching well here. So like I need, I'm looking at the manifold pressure maybe too much, trying to get it close to that 12. Ramona Tower, Cessna 2236 golf holding short of runway 27 for flight following. Oh, this is so good. This is so much fun, my god. Fresh Still Valley, holding it sorry. off. Okay. God, this is awesome. I don't know why I think this is so much fun um, versus flying a holding, Southwest uh, 737 uh, to San Jose. 
but this is awesome. <laughs> Two zero six apologies. Don't get down to uh, six. Our tower and way two seven. Clear okay. Take clear for takeout from way two seven two two three six off. So just keep the power. Don't don't try to pull the power to get it down. Uh, wait for clean to land. It should be a short flare and continuous descent to the runway. Um, <laughs> I use the Thrustmaster Hotus X, like the cheapest thing you can you could possibly use. Giant Tower Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo midfield. Pull up. Pull up. Or two zero four Lima Echo with two zero left fifth option. Third option two zero left for Lima Echo. Skater, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Pull up. In the 172, you level Pull up. up. Okay. Uh, ice, ice, maybe. Thank you very much for the follow. I have a feeling that this would probably be much easier in the real plane than it is right now for a couple of different factors. <laughs> okay, three green. Okay, that was probably. It's gonna an, be a northbound departure. That seemed like an overflare. But that was a little bit better. Contact departure. I feel like. Yeah, that was a little. That was a little bit better. I definitely felt the flying it to the ground more. Two two three six golf to cut a partial radar contact. Admiral Entropy, thank you very much for the follow. Did he just clear me to land? Five two seven six up on Mojave Tower. Say again. And that's. <laughs> Approach. You're coming in a bit broken. Check your frequency. Correction. Well, Admiral, I really appreciate very, that, very man. Broken. It does do that big time. Giant Tower, four Lima Echo, midfield, two zero left. For five two seven six, Papa Roger. Contact Mojave Tower. Keep your squad good. Okay, we're going to continue. We're just going to For the Mac, go to your left for the option. Third option, two zero left for the Mac. Mojave Tower, I mean, the 172 is a unique plane, and correct me if I'm if I'm right, wrong in my understanding of this tower. in any way, but um, you know, 172 is unique. In, in how you fly it, this is more, this is more similar to like, and m closer to this than the 172 is, like, you know, King Air, the little jets, just this is more of a big plane um, mindset when you're landing, you're flying it to the ground versus the 172 where you're just essentially floating it down. See ya. I moved the yoke back. I moved, I moved the stick back like tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. And just like, boom. 
Does real F-33 do that then? Well, the, the, I mean, Brad, have you flown an, an F-33? Real, real bonanzas lose control authority in the flare quickly. You need to keep that in mind. So you can either keep your speed up and use extra speed for control authority, or you can carry more power to the ground. So you just want that flow um, over the, the stabilizer. One way or the other, whether it's excess airspeed or, or power. Four limit echo, my two zero left, clear the option. Clear option two zero left, four limit echo. Yeah, the flare, I, I mean, the flare, there's not much I can do about that. I, there's only so little I can move that stick back before it's just, I mean, I could probably change the curves. But on that one, I, I moved that thing back so freaking tiny to not do that, and it still did. Um, you know, which is just part of simulator flying and jumping around in different planes. Try, try to go a little bit smaller on on the flare. That's a really hard one to do. The thing is, we know that we're clear of traffic. <laughs> Okay, so I was at 14 that last time, and I should be a little bit. But it's not like it's not much power that you need in. It's just just enough to keep. So that looks like 12 right there, maybe. But see, it's getting slow there. If I try to hold 12, it's getting way too slow. That was a cheap butter. It was a float to Juliet butter, which does not. <laughs> On the next one, just dive the thing to the ground. Like, it barely flare. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, and the flare was a little bit high again on that one, too. Like, I can't... I, I don't know how to pull that thing back any smaller. This is so good though. I love this. It's not how much you're fighting it's how Hey, I, I get that, but I'm like, I'm pulling back so little on the yoke and it's just popping up, so I... Um, for the Maca, my two zero left clear the option. Two zero left clear option for the Maca. Same flare, there's three feet lower. Have you heard that on final? Oop, wrong button. <laughs> you think this is the one? All right, Admiral. Let's make it. Let's make it the one. Flying it to the ground, man. So there's 70 right there.
power. See, I added a little bit of power in there because I was getting a little slow, and it was too much. I should I didn't take it out quick enough. At least I'm getting good go around practice. <laughs> Seventy, but at twenty inches. Yeah, that's not a good combination. <laughs> it's not the landings; it's the run. <laughs> Yeah, just attach a hook at the back of this thing and slam it in there. <laughs> Coming in too shallow. Yeah, we can fix that too. Uh, can you explain the inches? What is that measuring? That's the uh, manifold pressure. So that's that's looking at right here. Yeah, I'm um, I'm shallow, which is taken away that. Left for the two zero left option. Clear option two zero left for the mega. Forget about that part of the program. Um, yeah, you're right because I'm I'm losing that uh, that altitude for airspeed portion of the equation where I'm having to put in power. So that's a little bit better. So there's 85 at 500 feet. Crap, wrong button again. Too shallow again. This is not going to be good. <laughs> not going to be good. See, that was even harder than that last one when the ELT got set off. All right. I'm overthinking it, too. Yeah, still winding up low and slow. Just, we'll have it, we'll have just the opposite yeah, problem. Papa, looking to park in transient parking. I'm at Juliet. Um, this is for the Cat 6 rating flight. Seven six Papa, taxi to the ramp. By Alpha. Taxi to the ramp by Alpha. Joint Tower, Bonanza, Four Lima, Echo, Midfield, two zero left. Four Lima, Echo, two zero left, you have the option. Third option, two zero left, Four Lima, Echo. Yeah, high flare again, but that was a little bit better. Um, I wasn't low and slow. Alpaca actual. Happy Monday. How's it going? 
Oh, Spectre. Oh, got hacked. Damn, dude. Well, welcome back. Glad to have you back. Admiral, thank you again um, for joining us tonight. Have a great rest of your Monday. We'll see you soon. Much better pattern, though. Just fix the overshoot to final. Yeah, I'm gonna chalk and that one up to, uh, Papa, just to, to check. two dimensions. Did that flight count for the Roger training? that. Hey, bird. Whoa, buddy. Alpaca, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome. Johnny Tower, Four Lima Echo, midfield two zero left. That's the top affirmative. Let me see Four Lima Echo, my two zero left here for the option. Or option two zero left, Four Lima. Two zero three six go. Uh, no traffic was there between you and the French Valley Airport. Keep it Brad tight, as, as we like to say. Change, you to check with you it's, a, it's actually an official term at John Wayne. Uh, will you please fly a uh, Brad pattern, please? Uh, Roger that. Bad, uh, Brad pattern for Delta Lima. And they do it. Keep it over the grass, please. Man. All right, that's fine. Beautiful first dish. Well, that was the left. I think I, I think I touched down on the left side first. Um, all right, that's fine. It's getting better. I'm figuring out. Yeah, and this is why. That's about the normal base for me. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was trying to do, Brad. Is like, what would Brad do? Like a normal, a normal Brad approach. Because I think that helps too. If you if you make the final. Clear option two zero left for the match. Clear option two zero left for the match. You make the final too long, you got way too, and, and especially in the simulator when your your depth perception isn't there, and it's just you know you're more more likely to be either way too high or way too low. Um, this is for this plane that shorter um, pattern seems way better for me at least in this plane here. There's there's a beam of numbers, gear coming down. Right over the freeway. That way I can keep the speed up, I can keep the right amount of power in. And, and fly it, fly it to the ground. There you go. This is a little bit high. If I can pull the power a little bit more, nose down a little bit more. So there's still 80. Whoa. So that was better too. I mean, again, not really caring about center lane right now, but it seems a little bit better. It just feel it feels like it's a different different uh, cross section than the 172 is. Um, good angle, power idle. Okay. Power. So if you're so at that time, I was I was a little bit high. I can go power. You you can go power idle on the right. Um, <laughs> also, I haven't changed tanks. Uh, no. They're probably probably hurting there. Right. Yeah. That's right. 
Uh, if you've got the speed, yes. All right, cool. What's up, Chevy? Happy Monday. And yeah, it's a <laughs> life of pilot. It's for sure. So this um, scenery is really good, but the runway, uh, uh, John Wayne Tower, Four Lane Echo, midfield to your left. Four Lane Echo, my teaser left the option. Third option, twos are left for the uh, Remember why we keep power and airflow over the elevator. Higher speed accomplishes the same task. Uh, the the texture on this runway is like a single color. The old scenery that I had, it was actually had a much better um, runway texture to it. This just looks, it's like, in, it's it's been hard for me to gauge how far off the runway I am. So I am definitely oh, on the left side like the right side is a little bit more textured but the left side is just kind of has that like flat gray look to it good evening bourbon clearance plata 6502 with information mike at atlantic I'd like to pick up so my we'll have the airspeed so there's 85 we have the altitude still have palmdale airport but not due to palmdale transition as filed uh, maintain 4,000, expect 900,000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency uh, 134.2, squawk 6204. Son of a bitch. 502, clear to Palmdale is filed. Uh, climb maintain 4,000, expect 9,000 to 10 yeah. minutes. Uh, departure on 134.2. So that was a good example of. 6204, 502 that everything was fine but i i transitioned too early and didn't keep going down and way too much power still yeah okay that's a 176 turn right hotel kind of ground two right right at hotel contact the ground see ya I cover my teaser left of the option. Clear for the option, two zero left for the echo. Alright. Altitude is good. Downwind, 15 reduction, 12 flare. Do you basically do those same numbers, Brad, when you're doing a uh, short approach, or is it a little bit more kind of using the altitude? Usually short approaches on 12 or below. Okay. This seems this seems like it's good. I'm below I'm 15 below, but it's a little bit slower. So if I can make Juliet, that's a good I would take that as a good one even though that's pretty hard on the brakes. So that was better. That was better. <laughs> poor tires. <laughs> poor, poor brake pads. Johnny Tower, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, clear of 20 left at Juliet, taxi back. Yeah, but I think I was... 2 0 the back, I went to the left, taxi by Charlie Kilo. Charlie Kilo, 2 0 left, 4 the back, go. Yeah, Yoshi, I think in, in that 
case, um, I was, uh, like just, <laughs> like just floating there with too much energy and I was close enough for pulling the power back it was the only thing that was going to take out that last couple of feet rather than, you know, flying it straight down on the ground. Suggest we watch a video of Brad landing it. Do I have like a, an actual landing? Giant Terra Bonanza 204 Lee Meckel holding short 20 left at Kilo. Is it okay if we uh, stay here for a couple minutes? Hold on, Meckel, that's fine. I'm going to be back. Okay, we'll let you know for Lee Meckel. They are different planes, but let's check it out. And not by, obviously, not by much. Camera reload clearance. Skyhawk 1 8 4 Tango X ray. Okay. Or 1 8 4 Tango X ray camera clearance. Looking to VFR to John Wayne and uh, get some traffic advisories on the way. Pick up the cat tune as well. Is this a normal one at John Wayne? Let's see. Or 1 8 4 Tango X ray tap craft. Steep in order to keep it tight enough to come around. Five zero one, turn on the Lima hold short of one two zero left. Turn left on Lima hold short of two zero left. There's our beautiful little airport. Oh, she's so cute. Good evening, Burbank ground. Pull out of six eight five zero two with information from Mike at Atlantic. Like the. 700 feet seems so much higher when you're right on the way. Lima Crossing, we're on 2 0 left and hold short 2 0 right. We have an actual landing. Runway 8 and the Delta 5 0 right. 3, 2, 1, and the break. Yeah, but you know, Brad. We can talk about that later if I have to take a west departure. Take a west departure. We are already cleared option. Can you hear my smile? I can, yeah. It uh, should be really quick. loud. <laughs> looking for a west departure runway. Okay, I've got mine. <laughs> our sub uh, 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 yes, uh, 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 I think runway 6. Runway 6. Taxi to Alpha. So that's not a change to runway 2 to right, runway 2 to right, clear line. Taxi to Alpha. Extend the base outside the Cessna 2 to right, clear line. Sorry, this is like. That's not took it pretty tight. Where is it? Oh, there he goes, yeah. Seven two here. We have the Cessna in sight. We'll be outside, but we'll be cutting it kind of tight. We have the Cessna here. That's approved. Wind is 210 at 8. Thanks, sir. Okay, don't flaps. Oh, you're keeping this real tight. Yeah, but not tight enough. Wanted to be between the 717 and the 737, but. Have a energy. great night, ceremony, Mom. Third Third green is clear, configured. That is the benefit of a draggy airplane. Yep. Oh my God, yeah. I'm still gonna hit my short field spot, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got so much more energy. Three greens. Kind of hard to tell. Down to seven two sir. Nobody's on final landing. Right turns approved. Kind of ground one two zero point. Having a good one. Seven two sir. Thanks. We'll clear here. Ground twenty point eight. We'll see. Ground southwest forty nine eighty eight. Taxi with echo. South forty nine eighty eight. Kind of hard to tell right. on that one. Keith SD. Congratulations, dude. Happy happy Monday as well. 
Jami Tower, uh, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, holding short 20 left for left close traffic. 204, Lima Echo, and 20 left, clear off left close traffic, we're midfield each time. All right, 20 left, clear for takeoff, report in midfield for Lima Echo. This is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun to me. It's. I love taking it so seriously. And it's just pattern work in a, in a GA plane with pilotage. I have not left the airport. And I've ha I'm having so much fun. No, this is uh, this is piloting. Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of a nice shot right there. I like that. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is really fun to me because I enjoy um, pushing, like just making this as realistic as possible. And it's all I, I haven't really done this in this plane. Well, one because the the A thirty six that I have tower, plot at six eight five zero two was the uh, holding short runway eight uh, at Delta, the newer one, go. and it's got Aspen, and it's just like a different plane. Six eight five zero two, Boeing Tower runway eight, clear to take off, one one five zero five. Roger, clear to take off, runway eight, flight crosswind five zero two. Thank you. Joint Tower Bonanza Four Lima Echo Midfield Two Zero Left. Four Lima Echo Runway Two Zero Left. Third option. Third option Two Zero Left. Four Lima Echo. Um, getting getting close, Keith. Uh, so this is going to. You know, like I mean, I've I've been Real in ground, Skyhawk, the Bonanza with Brad. Ready to taxi at Fox Shot. Four times now, I think. Four, eight, four, take it, train, camera, uh, three times Runway in the front. Six, taxi via Is that right? Fox Shot Alpha. Or six, via Fox Shot Alpha. Five uh, times, four train. times in the front. I think that might be it. Yeah. Four times, five times, four times in the front. Um, and, you know, I try not to focus too much on what he's doing uh, because it is different than what I'm training on. So it's kind of nice to enjoy his flying and enjoy the plane um, but I've wanted to learn more about it um, San Bernardino Tower this is Skyhawk 527 to be able to Papa appreciate it a little bit more what, what he does do in the plane which is why I'm kind of hooked on this uh, Tower, so why is it like it's like just floating along there um, that's why I'm kind of hooked on this this F-33 because the panel is nearly identical, and it's it's fun learning this. And obviously, having having Brad in here, um, five two over to departure. Along with other very experienced pilots, walking me through the intricacies of this is freaking awesome. Nearly identical for now. Well, even if it does change, it's nearly identical to now and what I've been in it as. So I can at least relate to what has already happened compared to the sim. Um, yeah. Uh, Chandrian, uh, this is John Wayne. This is my, my home airport. And uh, Brad, the pilot guy, is home airport. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Six eight five zero two. Turn right, heading two six zero. Oh, right on, man. Climb and hit nine hundred thousand. Johnny Tower Bonanza for Lima Echo continuing two zero left. For the Echo, my two zero left. Uh, clear. Actually, stand by. Four Lima Echo, when two zero left, we have the option when two zero zero seven. I cleared option two zero left for Lima Echo. Okay, that was weird. Can 
Amarillo Tower, Skyhawk, 184 Tango X ray, holding short, 26. Pacific 50, new turn right heading 1, discussion, turn right heading 345. Oh crap. View's not working. Oh god. Oh god. I'm stuck outside. I can't get I can't, I can't get into the plane. I can't get in the plane. Pull up. I can't get out of this is the only view I have. This is the only view I have. Shift 9 doesn't work. Nothing works. Joint Tower Bonanza 204 Lee Mecco. We're actually stuck in tower view right now. Um, so uh, we're midfield left downwind, 20 left. For front of the echo, my 20 left, grip the option. What was the first thing you said? I'm stuck in tower view, so this will be an RC landing for Lee Mecco. For Lee this will be amusing. I can't. Does it zoom? At least it zooms. Can't you press S or something like that? Oh, okay. We're back. We're back. Yeah, I don't know what I pressed, but that was not good. Okay, we're we're back on uh, extended left downwind. Or excuse me, extended left base for two zero left. Roger. Uh, you're still clear for the option for two zero left. Okay, cleared option two zero left for the Echo. What the hell was that? I've never had that happen before. <laughs> The gears down. Okay, so we got three greens, three greens, one brown. Yikes. <laughs> uh, okay, so Dr. Ocean, did you say you're taking the um, the written tomorrow? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna reset this. Nine a.m. tomorrow. Nice. Number six eight five zero on that heading. Intercepted departure. Okay. So I see what you're saying, Brad. You have. Um... <laughs> that sounds good, Brad. I see what you're saying. So if you're at fifteen to thirteen. It'll keep flying just barely. You've got to be at 12 in order for it to really touch down but still have elevator authority. It's not pulling it idle. It's you have to get it to 12. And that's what is like, I just have to kind of know where 12 is in order to get it there. That's all right. Cessna Skyhawk two zero four. Fuck. Two zero four F bomb. Uh, so what were you saying, Doctor Ocean? I kind of missed. Can't figure out in regards to airman certification what is type and category. Joint Tower Bonanza it's four Lima Echo midfield two zero left. Four Lima Echo two zero left. Clear up. Third option two zero left four Lima. I, I remember it from, oh, type, category. So I remembered it from category is like the big, the big changes, uh, you know, airship, uh, piston, glider, and class is the specific subtypes and I, and I thought of it like a type rating like class you have to go to a class to get a rating even though you know like um, high performance you don't necessarily need to go to a class but it's extra um, it's it's an extra class not a whole category okay so there's 15 now there's 12 flying it down <laughs> Plum <Plump. laughs> Okay. Number 
576 Copper Red Contact, five miles west of San Bernardino Airport. <laughs> it's not, Ontario, it's not John Wayne without caution wake turbulence. No kidding, man. You are definitely from John Wayne, for sure. Thanks, Chevy. Yeah, so I think, I think it clicked. Different 4 Tango X ray. Let's see if it clicked a second time, but I think it's clicked. Contact departure, 4 Tango X ray. Or 75502, Count Josh, approach 126.1. Johnny Tower, Bonanza, Forley Echo, midfield, two zero left. For the Echo, runway two zero left, clear for the option. Third option, two zero left, Forley Echo. All right. If you don't succeed, try again. That's what we've been doing, man, and it seems to be working. Palmdale, all temperatures. Two, nine or nine or eight. Advise you have the weather. It's a approach request. A little bit of an overshoot there. You definitely wouldn't wouldn't want that in the real John Wayne. Let's see if let's see if I have cracked the code. For 68502, Palmdale the uncontrolled airport, so it would be your choice. The Palmdale airport, 12 o'clock, and 1-2 miles, port in sight. Okay, so there's two in a row. Alright, we'll take x-ray. Point to go departure, radar contact. Montgomery okay. Ground, Piper 9120 at KS request taxi for to arrive for eastbound start. departure information, Charlie. Uh, good sign. First I think after two cleared visual for the Palm Star Airport. We've been at this. November 901630. Uh after my PPL Montgomery I do Ground. plan on going for my instrument right. rating. Um taxi hotel off departure to arrive. But I also zero. plan on using my license for work for travel uh you know like regional travel that's my hope and to continue to do this um you know the whole simulator and real life connection i find super fun giant tower bonanza for limeco midfield two zero left for the macro my two zero left the option two zero left cleared option for the macro we're seven things off. What's your time of craft and uh, can we expense plane rentals for work? Yes. You can also. We're seven things off. What's your time of aircraft? If you uh, if you uh, if you do work outside of the state too, you can be also exempt from. Native number seven things off. Roger. Resume our pre BFR altitude. Cirrus rep was telling me about that. That. November 7, 6, Papa, if it spends a certain amount of time altitude. outside of the state, you could be exempt from uh, state income, or not state income, like state sales tax. November 184, Tango Astrid, come out approach 134.2. Tango Astrid, approach 134.2. Number 68502, no traffic observed between the Palm Dale Airport. Port of a cancellation in the air on the ground by the GCO. Air service terminated, change advisory approved. It was okay. Not great, but. 51%, so it has to be out of Direction state. Direction 4 Fox call, please contact Donway Tower, 126.8. Good day. 126.8, see ya. See ya. You won't spend enough time out. Yeah. Okay. So that's why that uh, Sears rep said that owners would give them the planes to demo and keep them there. So there's a caveat to everything, I guess.
John Tyra Bonanza, four lane echo, midfield, two zero left. Four lane echo, runway. You going back to the runway? Correction. Disregard. Runway two zero left, clear for the option. Two zero left, cleared option, four lane echo. Doctor, so that's not cool. Like one to your nine o'clock, about nine ten o'clock, about three miles eastbound at three thousand six hundred indicated. If I answer this, will be my traffic to your uh, eleven o'clock, and three miles northbound at forty five hundred is also be a part target. Tower Bonanza 204 Lima Echo. I'd like to request a low approach run 20 right and then full stop on the right side. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely I think I think I've cracked it. That was the power zero uh, it was textbook, I didn't see any issues at all. It was four Lima Echo my two zero right good line. I like to make the the first one a low approach and then uh, right traffic f for uh, full stop two zero right. From the Nikola's previous request. Montgomery Tower, Piper ninety one six three zero, holding short to right for eastbound okay. departure. Ninety one six three zero, Montgomery Tower, my two eight right, clear for takeoff, Sean on course. Two Once right, it clicks, you know, it's just like off, landing when you're zero. when you're a brand new student. It's just like landings when you're. You're trying to feel it out and figure out what you got to do, and then whatever, whatever happens, um, that makes it just kind of click, and then you're good to go. Um, that's a pretty, pretty fun feeling. I'm tempted to go into the tower view, but I don't want to have a repeat. <laughs> so let's try it. thousand feet on this side. Well, that feels great. Jeremy Tower Bonanza, 4 Lima Echo, midfield, downwind, 420 right, full stop. Full Lima Echo, runway 20 right, clear. Full land 20 right, full Lima Echo. Man, that feels good to figure that out. to be too short because we don't want to have to taxi a whole lot. It's 
See how much more textured this side is? Tank slapper. All right. <laughs> All right. Side load. Rip the tires right off the rims. Joint tower Bonanza two zero four Lima. Go clear up two zero right. Straight into ACI. For some accident for the. All right, straight in, 204 the Mecco. See ya. <laughs> no, I've, I've had a few that uh, could definitely be logged as different landings. <laughs> uh, it's like, boom, there's one, boom, there's two, and there's the third. Disconnected. All right, let's um, let's check let's check that out. What's up, Torbs? Dude, I'm literally flying the wings and wheels off of this thing. Take that. It is repped out, man. It is definitely repped out. Uh, Rick's the thing pretty soon. Uh, start an engine of a plane and then just leave it running all day for eight hours. Come back at lunch, do a single touch and go. One gallon per hour. Let's see if I can get that last. Yeah, if you um, if you're just paying for fuel, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> just just pull up the fuel truck and just have it idle. <laughs> just stick the fuel in there and just keep it coming out. Just keep it coming. In goes fuel, out goes ATP minimum hours. So it's coming down smooth enough. It's just getting the time. The time right. We got like 20 hours doing that. Oh my god. That's kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous. Dude, yeah, I would want to. I'd want to fly, man. Oh, this, is, this is the one I aborted. Aborted high speed approach.
God, I love this airport. Holy crap, this airport is the best. That was a, that was a good one. That was kind of where I figured it out. All right, cool. Let's get the avionics coming off. Let's get all the lights off. Let's get the beacon off. Off, 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 off. Mixture coming out. And engine masters off. That was off. Let's see what the maintenance report says. Cylinders, inspection needed. Well, we'll inspect them. How about that? Uh, I don't know what that could have been for. Uh, let's see, that looks good. Fine. Fine. Some wearing is visible. Struts are okay! I don't know how. I don't know how after all of that, the only thing I got, I had the ELT go off like three times and some tire wear visible. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, that should be it. It looks good. That was some good learning right there. That's how you do it. No uh, no Southwest flight to San Jose. Just pattern work in a bonanza. That's all I want to do. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight. I, as always, appreciate, appreciate it and look forward to doing this um, whenever I do. So I, it's fun hanging out with all of you. Uh, blow minimums, thank you, Dr. Ocean. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, Jam GOT GTO GOT Jam GTO. Thank you very much for the follow, uh, Doctor Ocean. Do not worry about the test tomorrow. I took it and it was like ridiculous how um, how easy it was. I mean, there's definitely questions that are in there where you're like, "Come on, dude. There's no. I don't know any of this. Um, like, what are you talking about?" But the majority of them are freaking easy, dude. I went through, the first thing I did is I sat down and I just started going through the questions. I just went through as many as I could right away. And if it was, if there was, if it, I stopped for a second, I skipped it and went to the next one. I just went answer, 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 answer. I did the first 45 questions in 15 minutes and it was done. And then I went back and, you know, did they refer to figure 18 and, Where's, you know, Dallas executive and the VOR is tuned to what and all that stuff. Um, it's, it's way easy. Uh, let's see. I have 15,000 PE minutes in this plane, according to PE aware. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, dude. Like actual minutes or did you leave it on a couple times idling? <laughs> That's awesome, Torbs. Uh, but yeah, Dr. Ocean, you'll do great. So don't don't sweat it log flight dude so you can land this thing like butter every time uh torbs thank you again for for hanging out tonight below minimums dr ocean um brad brad still brad still might be here hi brad if you're still here um chevy uh chandran thank you uh john wayne veteran um keith sd who would we? I think I think we're running up against the uh, oh, Yoshi. Oh. Thank you, oh, thank oh. you guys so much. Tons of VFR pilot edge flying. That's awesome. Uh, Botlando, thank you for the follow. Welcome, Iowa. Have a good one. Genetigans. Brad is shooting down bogeys and DCS. Finbar, Finbar, you're the man. Um, love you guys. I will see you later in the week. Have a great uh, rest of your Monday. Peace out.